All right, here we go. I'm going to say sorry right now because this is a really deep dive into this grammar point. But if you're patient and you watch this video at least one time, I hope you'll understand the different ways that we can talk about modal verbs for permission, obligation, and necessity. What does that mean? Good question. Let me help you out. All right, so first we're going to talk about can, must, and have to, and should, and ought to. Now, these are kind of the most common verbs we use for talking about permission and obligation. So we're going to use can or could, can for present, could for past, must and have to. In my opinion, same meaning, but Mark's going to make another video to kind of discuss the difference there and should and ought to, which also have very similar meaning. So you can see those there nicely color coded for you guys. All right, so let's look at the first example. I couldn't take any photos in the gallery, so I bought some postcards. So what does that mean? I couldn't take photos. You know, if you go to a museum, if you go to an art gallery, you'll see the picture with the camera and the line through it. I couldn't take photos. I did not have the permission to take photos, right? So I was not allowed or it was not okay. It's like a circle with a line between it, okay? The next example, if we use must or have to, this is when we talk about an obligation. Something is necessary, we have no choice, right? If you want to apply for this job, you must be able to speak French or you have to be able to speak French. So again, in my opinion, those are the same meaning there. It means you have no choice. If you don't speak French, don't apply for the job because you can't get it, all right? And then the last one is should or ought to. We use this to talk about whether something is a good idea. I'm gonna give you some advice, right? Oh, we should take the highway. It's much quicker. Or we ought to take the highway. It's much quicker. So what you'll see is in British English, they're gonna use ought to a lot more than us in American English. And again, if I wanna give negative advice, like you shouldn't smoke or you shouldn't go out without a mask, right? I'm gonna give you some negative advice, something I think is a bad idea. I'm going to use shouldn't. And if you see at the bottom of the screen there, you're gonna see we can also use may sometimes to ask for permission. So this is kind of a nice way. You can say, hey teacher, may I go to the toilet? Or may I use your phone? I'm asking for permission. Of course, I can say, can I use your phone? That's okay. All right, so we talked a little bit about should and a little bit about ought to, but here we're gonna say should have or ought to have plus a past participle to talk about the past. All right, so we can use should have or ought to plus the past participle to talk about past events. Usually we regret, okay? Usually I don't like that I did that or I should, shouldn't have done that, right? I regret that. Oh, I had too many beers last night. I shouldn't have drunk so much, right? I have a headache, oh my God. I shouldn't have drunk so much. So. In the previous example we saw, we should take the highway. It'll be much faster. Maybe we didn't take the highway and it was really slow. And then I'm going to criticize myself or I'm going to express regret. I can say, oh, we should have taken the highway. It would have been much faster. So it was a past regret. It was a past good idea that I didn't do, right? Oh, I drank too much last night. I should have gone home early, right? But I didn't go home early. So in this case, the real situation and the unreal situation are always um, opposite. All right, so we can use ought to. Again, I said this is British English, a little bit unnatural for me, but I ought to have studied more. I might not have failed the test. So in this sentence, this one right here, did I study? No, I didn't, right? but I ought to have studied more. I didn't study enough, so I regret that decision. Or we shouldn't have opened that bottle of wine, right? 
Maybe I, maybe, oh yeah, it's okay. We'll drink the whole bottle. I open it, right? Uh, but maybe I have one glass. Uh, I'm full or I, I don't want to drink anymore. I can say we shouldn't have opened that bottle of wine. But remember, I did open the bottle. So that's really, really important. This is just a past action that didn't happen or that did happen and that we regret, okay? We regret, okay? So we can also use this to criticize what other people said, right? So if you haven't, you should have liked this video at the beginning, right? You should have liked this video at the beginning or you should have asked to use her phone. Maybe you didn't ask, you took her phone, you used it and she was angry and then I would say, I would criticize you and I would say, ah, you should have asked to use her phone or um, you know that maybe that man is married and he kissed another woman I can say oh he shouldn't have kissed that woman right bad idea so I criticize I say something that you did wrong I say something that another person did wrong I'm criticizing so we can criticize myself oh, I shouldn't have opened that bottle of wine or I can criticize another person. You should have liked this video. All right, so we're gonna move on to had better, had better. So this is quite a strong way to express obligation. This is a very strong must or a very strong have to. Usually there's some consequences, some negative consequences. So it's stronger, it's more urgent than should or have to or must. Um, oh, so maybe my, maybe my parents would say, oh, you had better finish your homework. Or maybe I will say to my kids, you had better finish your homework before mom comes home because my wife or my kid's mom is scary. Yeah, that's very true. So you had better finish your homework before mom comes home. What that means is if you don't, something bad might happen, right? Something bad might happen. So we had better is quite strong. Maybe I go to the doctor and I'm very unhealthy. He would say, ah, you had better start exercising or you're going to get very sick. So it's a very, very uh, immediate or very serious way to talk about something. Usually we're threatening or saying something bad is going to happen if you don't do that thing, right? Oh, you had better send the letter today or it won't reach in time. Maybe I need the letter to go on Friday. Today is Tuesday. Ooh, you had better send the letter today or it won't arrive by Friday, right? It won't arrive by Friday. So had better, there's a consequence there, okay? And then you can see here, had better not, right? So the negative of had better is had better not. So you had better not be late. So it's the same thing. You had better be on time. You had better not be late. Same meaning, same meaning. Means if you're late, you don't get the job. If you're late, you can't come to class. If you're late, you can't write the test. You had better not be late. All right. So now we're gonna move on to mustn't and don't have to. And again, if this is tricky, pause the video, go back and listen and read those examples again. Really, really important to see these again and again, right? So mustn't and don't have to. A lot of our students, if you look at the beginning of the video, I said must and have to have the same meaning, right? You must do your homework. You have to do your homework. Those have the same meaning, right? But be careful because mustn't and don't have to are totally different. They're completely different because English yeah, English is fun like that, all right? So mustn't is an obligation to not do something, okay? So in Singapore, for example, you mustn't smoke in a restaurant. So I know there are some countries where you can, you can smoke in a restaurant, but in Singapore, you mustn't because if you do, you have to pay a fine or you have to, I don't know, go to prison or something like that, right? You mustn't. So it's not okay. Oh, if you see the parking sign has a P and a line through it, you mustn't park here because it's against the law. It's against the rules, right? Whereas don't have to, right? Don't have to just means there's no obligation. Look at me, I'm wearing a polo shirt. I'm not wearing a tie. I can say, oh, 
I don't have to wear a tie at work. Now, I can wear a tie, it's okay, but it's not necessary. It's not my obligation, right? In Singapore, right, we have to wear a mask. We have no choice. We have to wear a mask. If I don't wear a mask, you know, I have to pay a fine, right? Or I can say, you mustn't not go out without a mask, right? Something like that. But I have to wear a mask. So don't have to means it's my choice. Don't have to means it's my choice. All right, so the last modal verb that we're gonna talk about is need. All right, so need has a few different meanings here. Again, if it's tricky, just pause the video. So need or need to or don't need to, okay? Something is necessary or unnecessary. They're very similar to have to and don't have to. Need to, have to, don't need to, don't have to. Very, very similar. So again, this is um, just like the example here. Uh, you need to check in at least two hours before a flight, right? You need to check in or you have to check in. Actually, these have the same meaning. Oh, that restaurant is really, really famous. You need to book a table. You have to book a table, same meaning. Oh, that restaurant, don't worry, nobody goes there or, oh, it's 4 p.m., nobody goes there. You don't need to book a, a table, right? You don't need to book a table. So that means it's not necessary. So that's okay as well. All right, or I can say, oh, you don't need to take a jacket. It's not necessary. You don't have to take a jacket. It's not necessary. Actually, those have the same meaning. All right, if we wanna say something is necessary or unnecessary, but on a specific occasion, right? You needn't bring a jacket. It'll be hot, right? This is a bit more formal. This is a bit more formal. You needn't, don't need to. Kind of very similar, actually, in that case, needn't. Mm. Don't need to or needn't. We use don't need to, not needn't for habits or general necessity. I know that's super deep, but this is English for you. I don't need to wear glasses. That's just general, right? I don't need to wear glasses. My eyes are good. Mark, he needs to wear glasses, right? He needs to wear glasses. But we wouldn't say you needn't wear glasses. That's not okay. This needs to be specific. This needs to be specific, okay? So, oh, you needn't bring a jacket this time. You needn't bring a jacket this time. When in Singapore, when you go outside, you don't need to wear a jacket. Every day it's hot, so you don't need to wear a jacket. But yesterday it was cold, so I needn't, or, I, or yesterday it was hot, I needn't have worn a jacket. So that's what we're gonna talk about now, right? when something was not necessary in the past, but I did it anyway. So maybe I booked, maybe the restaurant is busy or my friend told me the restaurant's busy. So I booked the table and then I got to the restaurant and there's nobody there. Ugh. Even though I booked the table, I needn't have booked a table. I needn't have booked a table because the restaurant is, is empty. So I didn't need to book a table but because the restaurant is empty. But I still, I still made the booking. I still booked online or booked on my phone. And last thing, when something was not necessary, so you did not do it, we use didn't need to, right? We had pe plenty of petrol, so we didn't need to stop, right? I had studied all day, so I didn't need to worry about the test, right? or I knew all the answers, so I didn't need to study. It was not necessary. So I didn't do it, right? I didn't do it. So why am I bringing this up? Because we can say needn't have stopped. We're not gonna use that in this sentence. So if you guys have any questions, of course, comment. Uh, and if you like this video, of course, like it. Um, but send Mark and I a message. Uh, follow, if you want free videos or anything, follow us on YouTube. Instagram, TikTok, all those fun places. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video.